Hi everyone, today uh, we will do a very simple test. It's called uh, the one sample t-test. So as usual I will start with an example. This is a bird, it's a corn bunting uh, and a couple of weeks ago we captured um, in total 28 of these birds and we measured the lengths of these birds. So the length means from the tip of the beak till the end of the tail. Um, and that's that's about it, that's the data set. So let's take a look at the data. So we attach the data um, and then we look at the frame and this is what it looks like. So the left column, these are the IDs of the birds. So it's all individual birds. And then here the length, this is of course the corresponding length of each bird. And we hypothesized that um, the mean length would be 18 centimeters. But of course, based on um, these numbers, we would not be able to tell. So we need statistics. So let's first draw a box plot. So this is the code for the box plot. I always indicate uh, which column I want to I want to use to draw this box plot. So in this case, there's only one column, it's length, but anyway, uh, it's not necessary in this case, but I added it anyway, so let's run it. And let's look, let's take a look at the box plot. So um, as we can see, the median length is a bit more than 18 centimeters, but there's quite some variation in birds. Some were smaller than 17 centimeters, others almost 20 centimeters. So could be that, that the mean of 18 centimeters is within um, very close to the actual mean but we don't know for sure so first of all before we can, before we can run the one sample t-test um, several assumptions have to be met so the first assumption that's very common in statistics is that all samples have to be independent so uh, yeah this is pretty much the case for uh, well 85 percent of uh, statistics you would do unless there is repeated measurements or uh, correlate, correlated paired data for example but we assume that this is the case because we captured different birds uh, all the time. And then the second assumption is that um, the samples have to be drawn from a population that follows a normal distribution. And we test this, we don't really test this, but we check this uh, based on a normal quantile plot. So this is the code for the normal quantile plots, and then we draw the line also. And what we want to see in this, in this plot is that the, the dots are more or less on this line. We don't want to see major fluctuations, we don't want to see huge outliers or weird patterns so it it doesn't look that perfect for example these are a bit of an outlier but it's not it's not problematic and also looking at the box plot i think we can assume that um, this is these are normally distributed data so if these assumptions are met we can run the the one sample t test which is actually very very simple so the code is t dot test and then um, you indicate your data frame also the column that you want to test in this case that's length and then this is of course our hypothesis. We hypothesize that um, the mean length would be 18 centimeters. So we indicate mu is 18 and that's it. And then we run the test and this is the output of the test. So this is a t-value in a paper you want to report this t-value. Also report the degrees of freedom. And this is of course most important one is the p-value. And the p-value is larger than 0.05. In this case that means that um, we are actually right that 18 centimeters, that's what we hypothesized, does not deviate from the true mean. So yes, the birds are probably 18 centimeters. If you want to know the true mean of this, this subset of data, um, then you have to look at the summary statistics. Um, finally, if you, if you want this uh, script, which is very easy, but if you still want it anyway, you can get it in the link below the video. 